Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I come down to the floor once a week to talk about the high-level nuclear waste issue in this country and the fact that this country still doesn't have a single repository to store a high-level nuclear waste. Throughout this last year, I've talked about um, Hanford, Washington, that has multiple uh, gallons of high-level nuclear waste. I then went to Zion Nuclear Power Plant right off, Lake right off Lake Michigan to talk about its nuclear waste right next to the lake. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went to the Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, to talk about the Savannah River and the nuclear power plant that sits right next to the river. Uh, then I went to the Pacific Ocean between Los Angeles and San Diego, uh, San Onofrio, where there's a nuclear power plant right on the Pacific Ocean. Today, I take the nation to Idaho, where Idaho National Laboratories is located, comparing this site, as I do weekly, to the defined location under federal law in the 1982 Nuclear Waste Power Policy Act, which is Yucca Mountain. Look what we have at Idaho National Labs. We have, at the National Labs, we have 5,090 canisters of nuclear waste. Yucca Mountain, none. At Idaho, the waste is stored above ground and in pools. At Yucca Mountain, the waste will be stored 1,000 feet from the surface of the ground. At Idaho, the waste would be 500 feet above the water table. At Yucca Mountain, the waste would be 1,000 feet above the water table. Uh, uh, at uh, Idaho National Labs, 50 miles from Yellowstone National Park, Yucca Mountain, the waste would be 100 miles from the Colorado River. Now, why is it important if to, to address these different locations of high-level nuclear waste across the country. Because there's 104 nuclear reactors in this country, not including all the high-level nuclear waste that we have at our nuclear, at our defense labs, our DOE labs, and the like. So what this country needs to understand is there's nuclear waste all over the place and next to major population centers and, and next to major water reserves. What I've also done is coming down here has been highlighting how do the senators from the states that surround the Idaho nuclear lab, what are their positions? And their positions are as follows. Um, Senator Barrasso from Wyoming says is a supporter of, of, of Yucca Mountain and has stated that the end result of this saga is a five mile long, 20 foot wide hole in the Nevada desert it was meant to store America's nuclear waste, but instead, because of politics, it stands as a monument to bureaucratic waste and taxpayer dollars. What does Senator Enzi say? He's also supported and voted for Yucca Mountain in 2002. In his campaign, President Obama promised change. He promised politics wouldn't interfere when, sense, when sound science spoke. I am disappointed that his Yucca Mountain policy ignores that campaign promise. Mike Crapo. Uh, from Idaho voted yes for Yucca Mountain and he, he's disappointed in the administration and the new senator from Idaho, uh, Senator Risch says, the president's decision to kill the nation's congressionally directed repository for high-level nuclear waste as a favor to one state is politics at its worst. The administration's decision to knowingly undermine their commitments to Idaho and 33 other states with no clear alternative cannot stand. This has become a hallmark of this administration, first with the Guantanamo prison site and now Yucca Mountain, to jump without knowing where they're going to land. So the other thing I've been doing is just been highlighting is I've been taking the country through the high-level nuclear waste areas around this country. Where are the senators uh, based upon their past votes or current statements? Right now, we have 17 senators in support. We have three in opposition, and we have four which really have no defined position as of yet. Senator Feinstein, of course, has spoken um, in opposition to Yucca Mountain, but with Fu Fukushima Daiichi and the fact that she has nuclear power plants on the shore of the Pacific Ocean, I think she's reevaluating uh, that position. We need 60 votes on the Senate to move forward and finish the science on Yucca Mountain so that by federal law, 
Yucca Mountain be becomes a single repository depository for high-level nuclear waste in this country. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.